Hello, and welcome to a quick review of the Banpresto Age of Heroes Limillion statue from My Hero Academia. And what a statue this is. Man, I've been looking forward to this uh, since I pre-ordered it a couple months ago. This is a thing of beauty. Well, probably. I don't know. I haven't fully opened it yet, so it could be bad, I suppose. But I highly doubt it, because it is, of course, made by Banpresto, who are a company I always trust when it comes to... Um, making sort of like affordable but you know still very detailed statues and stuff. Uh, it's got the branding there, My Hero Academia. As you can see this is number six, so there is a series of them. Now these are crane game statues usually, uh, prizes for like arcade crane things. Obviously we don't have them over here so you've kind of just got to order them. Um, and yeah, th there's not too much more going on with the box. It, uh, it you know mentions it's Age of Heroes here, it's Lemillion. Uh, who is Togata, uh, obviously, from the anime. Um, there's a full shot of him in that really darn cool pose. Um, and there's a close-up of his face there. And the top just says Age of Heroes. So, um, as with my previous Deku one, I'm going to crack this open, I'll show you the parts it comes in, then assemble it, then we'll have a quick look uh, at the statue itself. BRB. All right, and just a quick look for you guys. So it comes to the base, a uh, stand for the cape, the cape itself, his body, and his head. So I'm going to go ahead and try and assemble those as best I can, and I shall be back in a second. Just quickly as well, just in case anyone wanted to see what the back of Togata looks like uh, before I put on the cape. It's kind of plain and white, and it's got a bit of a belt. But uh, yeah, right, I'll go and assemble it. And another interesting thing, so uh, because this comes in several parts, the cape part actually has two little holes here and two little notches uh, you put it through. So that kind of fastens it on basically, and then you put the head on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, he is done. And uh, man, that was, that, was, that was slightly difficult. Uh, I'll explain why in a second. But I've got to admit, I am very, very pleased with this statue um, and how it turned out, really. It's just as cool as I thought it was. I'm going to move the box there just so you can see the full extent of his cape. This is a really darn cool statue. Um, so let's take a look at all the little bits, really. Uh, so he's a little bit heavier than um, Deku is, obviously because of the cape. I mean, the cape honestly weighs about as much as he does. Um, we'll get on to that in a second. But we've got his uh, his boots and stuff, which are they're painted in a really cool kind of shaded tone, so it is coming through on camera, I think, uh, hopefully. But basically, you've got, like, darker bits around where where shadows would collect if he was, you know, wearing this uh, and there was a light source or whatever. And obviously, we've got um, also what I really like, and again, Banpress will get this right almost every time, um, is the clothes, sort of, the, the lines of wear and stuff, because obviously near his, you know, thighs and stuff is where there'd be, you know, a bit of tension if he was striking that pose, and it just makes it look more like a fabric, which is fantastic. His shoes don't have a ton of detail, obviously, as they do in the anime. They're pretty plain. I mean, overall, like, Lemillion's costume isn't the most complex. It's just really cool. And up here we have um, his sort of bodysuit kind of thing, his gloves, and obviously the one million on his chest, because he wants to save one million people. Um, and then he's got the cool shoulder pads, which I really like. And, man, that face. Hang on. There we go. Sorry, I had to heighten it a bit. He is, a, he is actually a decently tall statue as well. That face is fantastic. Um, as with everything else, like, they've got the hair incredibly well done and stuff. Um, it actually, honestly, in certain lights, it actually looks a little bit fluffy and stuff, which is quite the achievement, really, because this is obviously just PVC. And, of course, he got they got his face perfectly. Now, obviously, with a statue, you can't really move the thing, so he is constantly kind of looking a bit to his right. Or, well, you could display him like that, and he'd just be looking off in the distance. And, of course, there's the big thing, and the thing that caused me to actually have to stop filming for a couple of minutes while I put it together, which is the cape. So, as I showed, it plugs into two parts in his chest here. Now, they plug in fine, However, because this is PVC and moulded, the left piece there was a little, I don't know, it was a bit too near, so I kind of had to stretch it, angle it, and push it down, and um, 
because there's such a large like bit of plastic here it was really hard to push that in whilst keeping that in whilst keeping them apart and making sure it wasn't like too high or low it, it was i mean it only took like a minute or two but do keep in mind if you do get this prepare to maybe like bend it a little bit just to like separate the two pieces um but once it does that it looks phenomenal so let's turn around there um just look at that cape that is fantastic it's it's so dynamic and stuff it, it really does look like a piece of cloth or well as well as you'll do with pvc and stuff and underneath of course now we do have this thing here as well which is the kind of support now technically and it's going to be hard to really get a focus here technically it's not fully supporting much like you can move in you can feel it's just like lightly brushing things but i think it's there because over time obviously this is going to get heavy and i think without this support it might topple the figure um because his feet do have like fairly deep um two of them like stand hole things but i don't think that would hold it all so this is necessary unfortunately it does mean you are slightly limited in the angles you can display him. For example, if you want to show him like that, I don't know why you would, but it would look a little bit weird because obviously it, you know, it's kind of, but to be fair, his body does block out a lot. And like there, for example, you can't really see it apart from maybe a little bit there. And like, you can get a bit creative with it and stuff. Um, but overall, it doesn't really ruin it. And I guess, you know, it, if you were really desperate or something, you could always maybe rig some, like, clear plastic or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, that about wraps it up, really. There's not too much more to talk about. He is a fantastic uh, statue. I think possibly my favourite Ban Presto statue that I have. And I've got a couple now, so, you know, that's pretty good. The detailing on the uh, body suit as well um is slightly shaded as well i don't know if you can see that but his right bicep there is definitely a little bit darker than the rest of it and stuff um and it's mildly textured i think i th it kind of looks a bit like a bodysuit but i can't quite tell but anyway um as with the other as with the other reviews and stuff i'm going to put up a couple shots and stuff um you know just so you guys can see him from a different angle or whatever and yeah until next time thank you very much for watching Goodbye.